Not all astronomical discoveries require looking billions of light years away. Sometimes the most astonishing revelations come from our cosmic backyard. Astronomers have recently uncovered strong evidence that a small nearby galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud, or LMC, might be hiding a supermassive black hole. But here's the twist. The evidence isn't coming from inside that galaxy. Instead, it's hurtling through the Milky Way in the form of hypervelocity stars, rogue stellar missiles racing through space at mind-bending speeds. This unexpected connection between runaway stars and an invisible behemoth in a neighboring galaxy is transforming how we understand both galactic black holes and stellar dynamics. In this video, we'll explore the thrilling discovery of these hypervelocity stars, how they've helped scientists track down a potential supermassive black hole in the LMC, and what this means for our understanding of the universe. The story begins with a class of stars known as hypervelocity stars. These are not your average suns. Some of them are moving at speeds over 1,700 kilometers per second, fast enough to break free from the gravitational pull of the Milky Way. They are quite literally on an intergalactic escape route. Astronomers have long believed that such extreme velocities could only be achieved through interaction with a supermassive black hole, such as Sagittarius A star, the one at our galactic center. But that theory faced a challenge when several hypervelocity stars were found with trajectories that didn't line up with the Milky Way's core. Enter the European Space Agency's Gaia Observatory, an advanced mission that precisely maps the position and motion of over a billion stars. By analyzing the three-dimensional velocities of 21 hypervelocity stars, researchers discovered something remarkable. While some stars did trace back to Sagittarius a star, at least three pointed directly to the Large Magellanic Cloud. Even more surprising, six others had motion patterns more consistent with an LMC origin than anywhere else. This was a major shift in thinking. The Large Magellanic Cloud, visible from the Southern Hemisphere with the naked eye, is only about 1% the mass of the Milky Way. Historically, it wasn't expected to host a supermassive black hole, but if it's launching stars at escape velocity, something massive must be doing the throwing. The most logical explanation? A massive, quiescent black hole hiding at the center of the Large Magellanic Cloud, slinging stars out of its galaxy and into ours. How can a galaxy eject a star with enough speed to escape its gravitational pull? The answer lies in a dramatic cosmic interaction known as the Hills Mechanism, proposed by Jack Hills in 1988. This process occurs when a binary star system, two stars orbiting each other, ventures too close to a supermassive black hole. The intense gravity tears the system apart, capturing one star and flinging the other outwards at extreme speed. This isn't just theoretical. In our own galaxy, the star S5 HVS1 has been clocked traveling over 6 million kilometers per hour, an escape velocity only possible through an interaction with an object as powerful as a supermassive black hole. For the LMC, the inferred black hole behind this phenomenon is estimated to be around 600,000 solar masses. That's smaller than Sagittarius AI, which weighs in at 4 million solar masses but it fits perfectly with established models that show black hole mass scales with galaxy size. The LMC is a smaller galaxy, so a smaller but still enormously powerful black hole makes sense. Adding intrigue to the discovery is the black hole's invisibility. Active supermassive black holes typically shine brightly due to matter heating up as it falls in. But the LMC's black hole appears to be quiescent, not currently feeding, making it effectively invisible in light-based observations. No X-rays, no jets, no glowing accretion disk, just the gravitational footprints it leaves behind in the form of stars hurled across space. The implications of uncovering a supermassive black hole in the Large Magellanic Cloud extend far beyond this one galaxy. For decades, 
astronomers assumed that only large galaxies could host such black holes. The presence of one in a much smaller system like the LMC suggests we may have underestimated the number of supermassive black holes in the universe. It also encourages new surveys of dwarf galaxies, like the Fornax or Sagittarius dwarfs, for similar stellar ejection patterns. Hypervelocity stars have also evolved from rare curiosities into crucial scientific tools. These stars serve as cosmic messengers, preserving the gravitational signatures of the environments they've passed through. By analyzing their motions and chemical compositions, scientists can uncover the presence of hidden black holes, trace dark matter structures, and even detect past galactic interactions. The discovery further reshapes how we view galactic relationships. The LMC isn't just orbiting passively around the Milky Way, it's dynamically interacting with it. By launching stars across intergalactic space, it contributes to the population of halo stars in our galaxy. Could the Milky Way be doing the same? Could these stars act as seeds or interlopers in other systems? These are new frontiers in galactic archaeology. This topic also touches the rapidly evolving field of gravitational wave astronomy. If the LMC's black hole formed from a merger or another massive interaction, it could have produced gravitational waves now rippling faintly across the cosmos. While our current detectors like LIGO or Virgo can't pick them up, future space-based observatories like LISA might. This connection opens up exciting opportunities for multi-messenger astronomy, combining gravitational waves, stellar motion, and electromagnetic signals to tell a fuller cosmic story. Finally, this discovery highlights the revolutionary impact of the Gaia mission. Designed to track stars with milliarc second precision, Gaia allows us to detect gravitational influences that betray the presence of massive unseen objects. It's proof that we don't always need to see black holes directly. We can follow the paths of nearby stars to infer their presence. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this journey into one of the universe's most intriguing discoveries, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay updated with our cosmic explorations. Until next time, keep wondering, keep watching, and always keep looking up.